everybody just, just party with me because baby. I'm super fun and baby. I have STDs and I just want to give him a hug because my favorite cars are VW Bugs. Everybody wants to dance with me because I'm super fun and I don't do see. Hey, 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 everybody! Philly Pride eighty eight here with uh, the challenge commentary. Uh, a lot of people asked for tomahawk only. Um, uh, little heads up right off the bat: it's not just tomahawk only. I have like a couple ballistic stabs and a couple ballistic shots, but it's mostly tomahawk. Yay, scalper! Uh, so, anyways, it's uh. It's challenge day, and uh, the Chippy Chipmunk, or whoever I was supposed to commentate with, didn't show. So, uh, if you're out there, Chipmunk, I'll give you one more day so we can commentate together, or um, or I'm just going to have to randomly draw two other people, and you know we'll figure it out. But everyone keep uh, your eye out for that, so we can have the dual commentary, because that'd be wonderful. But today's a really important day, as it's the 4th of July, and I thought... Why not tell you the wonderful story of the 4th of July? It all started back in 1592 um, when French settlers came over for um, moose pelts and uh, beaver eyeballs. They were very rare French delicacies of the time. And they're just splendid. I mean, they look lavish on the body. They taste delicious. You know, can't really go into it too much. Gonna kill this guy because... What's he, what's he, scalper! Um, so anyways, yep, um, the beavers weren't too happy about the French being around. They were protesting, they were upset, and good old England came over to settle the little dispute. They're like, blimey, that's not good. And that, I was like, they didn't have a good accent back then, and it was really weird and awkward, and you know, the Spanish people kind of laughed at them. So anyways, the French and the British people fought for like, 13 days or something. It was pretty bloody. And uh, from that, the British owned about 38% of the world, I believe. It's it's either 38 or 72. I always get the numbers mixed up. They're pretty, pretty similar. So anyways, uh, the Brits end up owning America. And uh, there's one guy. His name was uh, Stephen McJackson. Uh, he, he didn't like it. He was like, this is stupid. Um, I'm British myself, but I already feel different from the other British people. I mean, coffee. And uh, so that started the huge uh, civil civil war based off of um, coffee rights, where uh, there was obviously the tears of the British side and the coffee mates um, for the now known as coffee rebels. Um, so anyways, that was a long fight too, probably like, I don't know, I'm not really good at the numbers, probably like two months or something, and uh, it ended with uh, George Lopez signing a treaty um, to basically do comedy for the rest of his life. I don't know how that came into the dispute at all. Tomahawk. Um, it, it's pretty ridiculous. So anyways, uh, Steve Mick, whatever the hell his name was, uh, had lots of babies. He had probably 38 um with three women uh their name was margaret mary and uh josephine and uh that's where we all come from in america and the reason we shoot off fireworks every uh fourth of july is to show the uh hyperactivity of the settlers back in the day because coffee really jacks you up and uh it was just ridiculous and so that's how we became an independent nation from uh, the French uh, beaver eyeballers and moose pelters. So uh, you're welcome for that little history lesson. So that gets me to the point that uh, next challenge video. Get them out there, guys. I'm going to remember the ones that were already told to me. You know, the, uh, I think, what, what do we have waiting? We have Novagas. We have Dragonoff couple others uh, I'll keep those noted but keep keep flooding them in I might even do my own challenge video at some point but uh, yeah it's just splendiferous and I know what I'm gonna do for 500 subs 500 subs we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do a live commentary and it's gonna be cool
I think we're going to do a live commentary at least. I'm going to get a big party with all you guys and you'll have a chance to be in the video, which will be fun. And you'll all enjoy it and we'll all dance the dance. So watch this fail. Oh, what? Yeah, that was terrible and I'm probably the worst player ever. So, uh, what are you guys doing? How was your 4th of July? Was it wonderful? Did you have hamburgers and maybe hot dogs? And did you dance the dance of joy? I hope so, because it's really important. Uh, how much time is left? That's that's the most important thing, because I can't stop people from going out and getting drunk. And if you're 13 years old, I'm oh, look at that. Oh, you got owned. Um, I'm not going to advocate drinking. I'm not going to tell you to get drunk, because that's irresponsible. But that's what the adults do, and if you want to be cool like an adult, I'm just saying, don't drink. Wait, what? Um, so, I appreciate all you guys. And, um, I just want to let you know that I've been having a lot of fun doing this. And I'm going to do it for a long time. And, uh, I think I'm going to do the Resistance Let's Play, uh, Let's Play, because that's where I got my roots into first-person shooters. So, the round's over. I appreciate all you guys with the challenge, com uh, challenge video. Make sure to leave a comment down below telling me what to do next, and hit the like button if you liked it. And uh, have a good rest of the 4th of July, and don't die from fireworks. Okay, bye!